Hello everybody, Flick here. Welcome back to more, as you can see on the screen, Bloodborne. I'm just loading back into the Cathedral Ward, and I started recording mid-loading screen because we rescued another NPC last time who should now be in the ward, and I don't know if we're going to get another gesture as a reward or what. And we'll see if we can actually speak to them. And then we're going to go up to where I assume there is another boss, and we'll have a go at that. I'll try it once, or if I get really close to killing it, try it twice, then either explore to the left or right of the room where I think the boss is. And we'll see what happens. Although it did look like that path on the right where I had to go past those hunters last time. That looked like a big ass church to me. But whether it's the one I'm looking for, I don't know. So yeah, there we are. That's a new NPC right there. Oh, hello dear. You weren't lying. This is a safe place. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Curtsy. I'm not using a curtsy emote. Um, um, do I want to receive a blood transplant from a hooker? And if so, is it bad or good? Um, yes? Blood of Ariana. Did I do something bad there or did I do something good there? Heals HP and temporarily boosts stamina recovery speed. That sounds pretty nice. Remember the Oterian Church would not know that her blood is similar to precisely what was once forbidden. Hmm. So this... Also I noticed there was another NPC. The guy, the untrustworthy guy, looks like he listened to me because he's over there. We'll speak to him in a second as well. told him about this place, right? Well, he don't offer me much in a way of conversation, but still, I'd rather see him alive anyhow. And I sort of hope that my asking you turn out that, you know... I hope so too, weird creature. I've never been any use to anyone, you see. Just Aww. happy about it, is all. <laughs> Right, but what about the lady? Did I accidentally skip that bit? I guess so. Alright, let's see what the guy has to say. We're heading out that door anyway. Ah, you. The swindling offcomer. Did you really think that'd work? No fooling me. Now, off with you. You heard me. Go away. I can't stand the stench of your lying breath. But you believed me, you're here. I'll spare you one nugget of advice. Beware the blind man. There the beggar sits at the bottom of the bloody food chain. And then he's here acting like he owns the place. He's not to be trusted. So that's about the person who owns this place. He's warning me about him as well. Weasel has a murky past, I'm telling you. Ooh, maybe I picked the wrong place. Maybe the clinic was the safe place. No Safest life. place, rather. Alright, so he's not going to tell me anything else. Whatever. Are you grateful for me sending you here yet? Yeah. Nope. Alright, we are just going to run it. Because I want to know what's up there, and I assume it is a boss, and therefore I have no need for the souls, sorry, blood echoes, because I'm going to lose them anyway. Yeah, you can roar at me all you like, I'm not stopping to talk. So then they want to take a left, and then a right, past the badass scythe wielding guy. Don't mind me, good sir. Past the guys using planks of wood because they're morons. And this, I assume, is a boss. We shall see. Can you get in the door? No? No. Alright. This has to be a boss. I mean, look at it. Yeah, this is a boss arena. Alrighty. Let's have at it. Oh. 
It's a woman clasping a pocket watch of some kind. Oh. And she's also a beast. Adorable, kind of. Vicar Amelia. Oh, that's not an attack, that's a roar. This form seems a bit too easy so far, so there's going to be some trick to it when she changes. She's clasping the pocket watch in her left hand, still. Could you stop screaming? Oh, why are you glowing? Why is she glowing? Or is that just a bad lighting? I think that was just bad lighting. Although she does have a backup attack if you're hitting her from behind. Oh, alright, so that all locks on. That's a bit annoying. So the big double handed thing, I'm going to have to leap at her to avoid it, I think. That would have been a grab, I feel. Must you scream after every attack? It's actually very distracting. I did try to shoot there to stun her, but I timed it wrong. Oh, should have jumped the other way. Um, did I just... Oh, I hit the hand with the watch and it stunned her, I think. It did! That's what happened. So aim for her left then. Oh, it sends a shock wave! I didn't realise. I'm burning through so many potions, but I guess that's to be expected when you're learning the boss. That should be a stun. I hit her from behind. What's she doing? Yeah, her weakness is her left hand. Can I target that individually? No. Hey! It made me lose target! That's what got me hit there! Oh, and I died. That was irritating. It made me lose target because she jumped too far back. The lock-on range is a little annoying. <laughs> I got her to half health, though. And she didn't change form. I imagine there's still some trick. I'm going to have another go at that straight away because I think that's doable. I should have enough blood vials that I won't run out after a couple of attempts. Hmm. Very reminiscent of the, the very first boss, actually. One big attacking arm. Kind of looked the same as well, didn't it? That was a bit white, that um, clerical beast. That was the first boss. Yeah, just got to watch out. That double overhead slash, she locks onto you with it. So you either dodge at the last second and hope the iframes save you, or put enough distance between you that... Oh, actually, or you could deliberately untarget and then roll. That might work. And I believe... I mean, I'm going to guess here that she is weak to lightning, just because the other boss was weak to fire, and we've recently found something to imbue with lightning. I'm still not familiar enough with the patterns that I want to use up a consumable that I don't have a lot of. So, we'll take another stab at this. I want your weapon so bad. Hello there. Ah, oh, it's, it's the outsider, blah, 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 blah. Hey, there's a fog wall there now. Other than that, anything else I can think of? Well, hitting her left hand seems to stun her fairly often. There she is, right there. I didn't get any good moments to try and stun her. I assume they exist, I just need to learn her patterns. I 
I hate that the lighting changes so... I forgot it was a shockwave. I'm just lucky I was out of range. Also, I didn't lose target that time. Yeah, keep on hitting the right hand and pissing her off. That is such an obvious wind-up. I bet that's an insta-kill. I wouldn't be surprised anyway. Oh, come on. My, my gun isn't actually getting enough time to go off. I am pressing it at the end of combos every so often to try and stun her. Like that. That time it did actually fire, but it didn't stun her. So that means my timing is wrong. Same with that. Wrong timing. Alright, so can't stun that one either. She will have openings where you can stun to do the flourishes. I burn through way too much HP quickly in this fight compared to the other one. Ugh. That shouldn't have hit me. Although to be fair, I should have jumped to the right because that's the hand that has less reach. Why did that hit me? <laughs> well, at least I can get that back. Just going to back up. Oh, don't know what that was actually. Hit the hand, hit the weak hand. second form. I knew it. I don't think I can do any stuns. I'm using the gun at moments where it feels like I dodged. Come on now. Oh, that's a new attack for second form. The bite. That is also a new attack. Bite is fairly frequent, isn't it? That's gonna kill me. Or this follow up is. Stop screaming! Also, stop knocking me over! It's getting annoying. I believe I am actually gonna run out of heals here, which is actually not a way I ever saw myself losing to a boss in this enemy because it gives you so many. Again, I tried to use my shotgun, it didn't work. And that was an insta-kill. I only had two health left. That's annoying, that just seems like I just don't have enough defence. Hmm. Will I go exploring or will I try again? I could try using lightning this time and get her down faster. I'll give it one more go with lightning, then I'll go exploring. I want to run past that bit on the right and see, if, well, for one, if those hunter guys respawn, and two, what the guys with the big cleavers were guarding. I might as well, because I don't have any souls. I like that you don't have any kind of hollowing mechanic in this. At least I don't think so. It doesn't seem like I'm turning any more beast-like or whatever the more I die. Although I could be wrong. Is my insight going down when I die? We'll see in a second once it loads. And yes, if you're seeing this after any kind of patch that improved the loading times, I'm recording in batches, so not yet. No, I'm still on 12 insight, so I believe that's how many I should have. I've got a bunch of items I could use to get more. I mean, if I just don't have enough defense because this boss is very hard to dodge, I'll just get some more levels off camera. You don't want to see me grinding. Put it that way. There's nothing to see, really. I'm just going through the areas I've already been, killing enemies to get easy blood ecker and sorry blood echoes and also a stockpile of blood vials 
So yeah, we'll give it this one more go, and I think I'll use lightning just to test my theory that she'll be weak to lightning. I know her patterns, I just don't know how to dodge them now. And also those new attacks that she gets when she's in second form. Alright, screaming bitch. Now then, 89 a swing does seem like more. Also, I love the effect. What stun? It's like if she taps you with her knee, you get stunned. I guess that's to stop you being close to her, but that's a artificial way of doing it. Oh, that didn't stop her doing that. That's the attack that one shot me last time, isn't it? Oh, I mustn't have been on full health. I definitely have her health. Yeah, you get stunned by her foot moving. It happened twice there. Ugh. I despise that attack. And I'm pretty annoyed by this boss in general just because you get hurt by walking near it. Oh, and the lightning wore off real quick. That first time I was fighting her, I seemed to be getting her to get stunned, like, really, really frequently from what I thought was attacking the hand holding the pocket watch. I haven't been able to do that again. Oh, there! Right. Why is this working? Why was it working this time and it didn't work any other time? I don't know. Form. Same as the first, just worse. Back up. Not today. Wait, what? Oh, was that second form? What's she doing? She's healing! You bitch! Do a grab as well. I think she's healing. That worked last time, why didn't it work that time? That attack basically is an insta-kill if it's caught you with any other part of the combo. Oh, I thought she was stunned. Again, I'm going to run out of potions. Should have used the lightning thing. I had it on the bar. Why didn't that stun you? Disappear. Yes! That's the first boss that's actually pissed me off. Pretty slaughtered in three attempts or four attempts and we got her gold pendant. Oh, and we have a lamp. Flip it off. Fuck you too, lamp. Uh, where was that? Oh, I can feel myself coming down from the adrenaline. Yeah, that was making me angry. <laughs> Where is the old pocket watch thing that she gave me? Oh, there it is. Use it to gain a blood gem. A pendant passed down among the vicars who held the healing chart. It's a reminder of the cautionary adage. To reveal the adage, touch the altar skull. 
Is this the Outer Skull? I would say so. Oh. Dream sequence? I have come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. No, but you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born of the blood. Made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. Well, I didn't understand any of that. By the gods, fear it, Lawrence. Hmm. All right. Anyone follow that? So now, as far as ways to go, I guess we go back to the Hunter's Dream to see if anything's changed, but outside of this building to the left and the right both lead to different places, so one of those is presumably the right way. But to find out which, we're going to have to speak to the old man. So let's go back and talk to him. Yeah, the story is just as obtuse as you would expect from a Souls game, and but you don't have loading screens to tell you the item descriptions that help fill in the blanks. Not sure how I feel about the story. Still like the game though, so let's go speak to the old man. Oh, he's not back, so I haven't actually done what I was supposed to do then. That was not the chapel! So is it just the cathedral ward and like some new ways opened up that I didn't see? Can I use this now though? No. So was that a, an optional boss then? <laughs> Oh, so now you can trade Instite for Bloodstone Shards. Okay. So I've earned that at least. That's new. Do any of these graves activate with these items I have? Uh, use the Ritual Altar to create a Chalice Dungeon with the Chalice Ritual or search for Chalice Dungeons created by Hunters. Oh, right. Conduct Challenge Ritual to create a Challenge Dungeon. Oh, I see. Okay, and then you use that. Yes. Conduct a ritual to create a chalice dungeon. Materials will be consumed. So it's going to use up a thousand of my blood echoes and one ritual blood, which I have two of. Sure. Ritual's finished and the chalice rests upon the altar. You may now explore the dungeon. Oh, did I accidentally like pick the, the hardest area? Because I did it on that one and that's like final area rather than fifth and fourth and whatever. That was very stupid. If I did just do that. Well, we might have a look at that next time. That was a makeshift one. Short ritual challenge. So that's like basic ones. Oh, I don't have the ritual blood required now. Oh well. Yeah, I think I accidentally made one on like, like, in like, like, in like the hardest area of the game by mistake. Does the vendor have anything new I require? Use weapons in both hands while illuminating there. Oh yeah, the hand lantern. I should probably buy that. And use it. Ah, you have a ritual blood. Okay. It's quite expensive though. And the weapons you have have still not changed. Neither have... Oh, actually this has changed. I did not have the hunter's torch here before. Hmm. Alright, let's just level up and see what that torch does. How do you equip it? Is it one of these? Oh yeah, you just light it and it's a little light on your person. So it's in some ways better than using the torch because you can still use your gun, I see. Ah, oh, I'm a... What is it? Hunters have about the go... But I am a dog. Would you ever think to love me? You're strange. I do love you. Isn't that how you've made me? 
That's weird. Just give me my levels. Oh wait, I said I was going to get skill to 20 first, didn't I? Alright, we'll do that. It's getting very expensive to get a level now. Although the enemies are dropping more. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. We're going to leave off there and I, I, I don't know which direction we're going to explore next time. I could just jump into that random chalice I made there and just get slaughtered as well. We might do that. Anyway, as I said, that's all for now. Until next time, my name has been Flick and ta-ta for now.